Good morning, hello everybody. Oh my God, I've just nearly sacked over that pole. How did I miss that there? I don't know. But anyway, we're in Bath today. I've come for a little solo trip in Bath because A, it's my favorite city in the UK, I think. I think I'm gonna go out there and say that. And B, basically my dad works here every so often. He comes to Bath for work. So I thought I would join him today. A free car journey to Bath and then I could spend the day in Bath. So I thought we could spend it together. This is gonna be like a come shop with me slash spend the day with me slash daily vlog. I've already been to Primark. I've got a giant bag of stuff, but I filmed that for a set for what's new Primark, which will already be like. So go and watch that if you haven't already. But we've got Zara to go to. We've got Urban Outfitters, H&M, Tiger, Lush, all of the above. It's January, so I might manage to get some bargains in the January sales, but I'm also hoping they'll have some new in bits. We're just gonna spend the day together in Bath because I absolutely love it here. It's so aesthetically pleasing. This is the outfit today. It's the same outfit that I wore um, to Bath when I came here for the Christmas market. So yes, I am out repeating in the exact same city, but it's cute, it's comfy, and it works. And this was a spontaneous trip to Bath from Cornwall, so I didn't have all my wardrobe with me. So we had restricted options, okay? Let's not judge. Anyway, I'm rambling, and this street's getting busier and busier. Uh, so I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna go and drop the Primark bag back in the car so I don't have to carry it around, and then we shall go shopping together, okay? This is a Zara in Bath. It is absolutely huge. It's really new as well. Like. It's got all the self-checkouts and all like the like really up-to-date things. And I literally love it. Like it's probably my favourite Zara ever because it's like the ones in London, but the ones in London are always so busy. Whereas this one is so nicely laid out and so quiet and I literally love it. I quite like this. It's like a navy coat, but it's kind of giving like Cotigan cardigan kind of vibes. And then it's got like this asymmetric scarf to it. It's kind of hard to explain. I don't love the button, but you could definitely change that. And it's only £60. I say only, but like compared to the fact it was £120, that is such a good price. But I just don't know if like, I'd want to pay £60 for like a cardigan coat thing. Do you know what I mean? Because it's not like super, super thick. I quite like this dress for the summer. I don't love the back. It's got this like crisscross back, but this is what the front of it looks like with these little seashells on. And it's like linen, really nice like long dress. And it's got seashells in the back. I just don't love this detail, but it's only £19.99 instead of £59.99. And I have it in my size. So I think I'm going to get it and at least try it on because from the front, I think that would look really, really pretty. I've also, oh, just dropped it. But I've also got this jacket because this is 49.99 instead of 109. This is not a bit of me at all with like the red and blue, but I can kind of see this looking so nice on someone like Megan McFarlane or someone like that. Do you know what I mean? Like it's got kind of tassel bits on the bottom. It's like a really oversized chunky knit cardigan. And I just feel like on people that would wear color, that would look so nice. I just know that me personally wouldn't wear that, but that is actually so cute. Like I love how chunky it is. $29.99, this is a code. They might have it online if anyone wants it instead of $69.99. So like they have some really good reductions in here. I just wish I would like actually wear that. I just know if I got it, it would just sit in my wardrobe. These are the new change rooms. Like look at how nice they are. And then you just like hold your items up to the thingy and it counts them. But I picked up three items. So I thought we could come to the change room and try them on. There is music over here. So I'm gonna have to try not to get copyrighted, but I ended up picking up the blue like scarf detail coat thing i got this jacket because i really really liked it when it was full price but i was not going to be spending 110 pound on it i still don't know if i'd spend 50 pound on it like it's a really nice shape and stuff and it's got um this on it but i'm still not sure and then i've also got the little seashell oh my god that is like a complete mess for me carrying it i don't know what's going on with this lighting the lights keep turning themselves on and off um but i thought we could try them on have a little um try on session there's loads of stuff here like there's literally so much stuff in the cell it's a little bit overwhelming and i didn't really see any new in bits that i liked anyway this is out for the day just in case you care got my little uggs on anyway i'm gonna stop blurring now and let's try these bits on okay this is the navy coat which actually is quite nice like i was a bit worried it wasn't gonna be thick enough but now that i've got it on it actually does feel really nice and thick and warm it's just like that sort of length i love this kind of scarf you do why does this lighter keep doing this i don't know why but yeah i really like this but i do already have a like full length navy coat which is kind of similar to this so don't really need this i'm trying to be sensible i'm not doing no spend january but i'm trying to be let's be sensible spend january and this is not not something i need because i do already have something similar but it is really nice like if i didn't already have a navy coat i probably would actually get this because i really like this asymmetric sort of like scarf detail and it does fit really nicely this is in a size small and for reference i'm five five in a size six okay i actually kind of love this jacket i love the way that it fits it's like the perfect this i got in an extra small so i haven't sized up in it but it's just like the most perfect baggy oversized fit for like the springtime with an outfit like this 
like really simple underneath and then kind of having the jacket as like a statement thing. I actually love this. I just don't know if I want to spend £50 on it. Like it's such a good bargain compared to being, I don't know why my hands are so shaky. Probably because I've not eaten anything yet today. I'm really sorry. I'll eat something in a second. <laughs> just ignore the shakes for the second. Um, yeah, it's an absolute bargain compared to £110, which is what it originally was. But I'm just trying to show you it at a different angle. I don't know if this mirror shows it slightly better but I do love it. Like, I'm really like on the fence. If it was like 30 pound, she'd be coming home with me, but I'm just like, do I really need another jacket? No. So do I need to spend 50 pound on one? No, but look at how nicely it fits. It's like so baggy, it's so me. I love the way that the sleeves fit and everything. I wish this was like live so you could tell me what you think because it is so me, but then is it like, I've got like 500 things like this already, don't I? I do. Let's be real. I've had to keep the top on because otherwise the slick back pony would no longer be slick back. So this is not showing the dress off in the best of its ability, but this is then a little shell dress, which I've left my shorts on underneath and you can kind of see them through, but I think if you didn't have them on underneath, it would be okay. And obviously I wouldn't wear this top with it. I would like have bare skin underneath, which I think would look really nice. I love the shell detail, but I just feel like it's a little bit tight on the back almost. I'd kind of want it to be like a bit more like loose and flowy on the back. And I just don't really like the crisscross detail. Like I love it from the front, but the back, although I wouldn't see the back, like personally, the back is kind of putting me off. Like it's really nice down here, like nice and flowy and stuff. But, and I love the linen with the shell for the summer, but something about the back is just really like, it's this bit and also the tightness. I just think if it was like a really low back cutout, like all this was open, that would look so much nicer. So I think this is gonna not come home with me. The navy coat I don't need. And then this, I'm just really on the fence about because I really like it, but I just don't know whether to spend 50 pound on it. I mean, it's better than half price, but don't get sucked in by the bargains, okay? That's what I'm trying to tell myself. <laughs> I did in fact end up buying the jacket because I thought I can always return it. I just thought that's the last one in the store. It's such a good price. So I decided to get it. I also popped into Urban Outfitters and they now have Stanley Cups in there. They only have like the flip up straw ones, but it was so loud music in there. It would have got copyrighted. And next up, I think I'm going to pop into Lululemon because I absolutely love it in there. I'm going to see what they've got in the sale. And I'm kind of tempted later on this year to treat myself to something from there for the marathon. So I might just have a look in now just to like kind of get a bit of inspiration and get an idea of what I might get. There's nothing I've seen in the sale that I like, but I have seen this headband, which is only £10. I just think for running, that'd be so nice. It's got like a grippy thing. So it'd like stay in place and to keep my hair out of the way. I'm not gonna get it now, but I might come back and get that because it's so nice, like so slick. And I think I'm gonna wear all black for the marathon. So I think this will look really nice with that. I have actually just found these in the sale. I think they're gonna be too big for me because there are six, but Lululemon size six, I think is like a 10, but they're only £29 in the sale. And they're like these black running shorts and we've got like a built-in, they're like built-in, I don't know if you can see that. So I'm gonna give them a go. I thought, do you know what? I've got all the time today, so I'm gonna try them on and see. I think they're gonna be too big, but they do have like a little drawstring thing here, but obviously as I run, that's gonna come undone, so I can't risk them being too big, but I'm gonna try them on. They actually don't fit too badly because they're like the built-in bit, but this bit is just a little bit too baggy around the waist. I also don't feel like they look very flattering. Like I don't like how my whole stomach is out. I'd much rather than be high-waisted. I just don't feel like they look very flattering on. So I'm glad I tried them on because they're no return and no exchange. So I'm glad I actually made the effort to come to the change room because I just don't think they look flattering at all. Like on my stomach, that is just not a good look. Like it just doesn't look very nice. So she should be going back on the hanger. I mean, it doesn't look great with this outfit either. It's not showing off in the best way, but yeah, they're just too big for me and they just don't look very good. I have loved this hat from H&M for so long, but I just didn't like the purple on it. And now look what I've just found. They do it in a gray with white writing, which is so much more me. And it's in the sale for five pound. So I'm kind of tempted, but then I'm also like, do I need another cap? Like I'm really growing on my cap collection and just not wearing them out the house, which is so bizarre, but I just love that. But then would I like wear it? Do you know what I mean? Like, would I rather pick like an Anine Bing hat over this one potentially? But still, I'm so happy they've actually got like a different color because I've just been gravitated towards this so much. I just hate the purple, but this I love. How cute are these? I'm going skiing with Josh in March. And I like, even though these aren't ski socks and you won't be able to see my socks when I'm 
I'm skiing because I'll have big, thick, clunky, uncomfortable ski shoes on. I just love these. I love the colour scheme. They say at Prey Ski on them. How cute are they? They also have a black pair and I've just scanned them and they're, you can only get them in store. They're like a store exclusive and they're 2 99 and I'm kind of tempted to get them because imagine these for like a cute little Instagram picture whilst I'm away skiing. I just love the colour of them. But do I really need them? No. But are they adorable? Absolutely yes. I'm actually so tempted because they're just so cute. I've just been into Lush and they actually had quite a bit of like sale stuff left. Like they even had Snow Fairy, they had these shower gels which I love. So I did end up buying one of them because they were half price and I literally love their shower jellies. But they actually had so much stuff, like loads of gift sets left, which I was really surprised by. Um, and now I'm going to have a quick look in TK Maxx because I'm hoping they're going to have some really cute like Valentine's Day things because I've seen them, I've seen a few people find like cute Valentine's Day mugs and candles on TikTok. So I'm hoping I can find them. Oh my God, look at how cute this candle is. This little Valentine's Day strawberry shortcake one. We all know my love for these recipe card candles and I literally love that one. It's so cute. Oh my God, they also have a little, um, vanilla macaroon recipe card one and this one's much more me because it's like a white candle that is so cute i absolutely love that but i've got way too many of these recipe card candles anyway they also have these pillar candles look at how nice they've got loads of different ones these ones down there are my favorite though look at these for valentine's day how cute are they for like a little valentine's dinner or like a valentine's day like date night at home you could put them in the center of the table they're 6 99 but how cute are they? How cute is all this party stuff? Like, again, like a little Galentine's prize or something. Like little cups. I also love these plates. It says love you very much. Oh my God, no, I love these. If I was having like a Galentine's party, these would be the ones that I go for. A little like assorted love heart plates. They're so sweet. They're only 2 49 as well. They're the different designs on it. How cute are they? Oh my God, these ones are also adorable. They're so sweet. Oh my God, now I want to have a little Galentine's party just so I can get these plates because they're so sweet. Not TK Maxx is having a pair of black hunter wellies in here. I already have these, but I already have a pair, but these are such a good bargain for anyone looking. They're £49.99 instead of £125. And these are in a size six, which is not the right size for me, but like I said, I've got a pair anyway, but like, but like six is a common size. The fact they actually have them in TK Maxx is so good. I feel like they normally only have like a size nines in like a bright pink. But a size six black pair of hunter wellies, Run, do not walk to Bath um, TK Maxx if you're looking for them because that is such a good price. They also have this shorter pair which is so nice and they're only 39 99 but they're a size 9. So that's a little bit more like what I'm talking about, you know, like the random sizes and random colours. But the fact they actually had a size 6, I actually can't get over that. They have these two books in here which I literally love. I've already got the New York one and the Paris one and here they've got the London and the Los Angeles which I think are the last two that I'm missing and then I'd have a complete set but they're such nice books like coffee table books and stuff like on the side as well they look so aesthetically pleasing i'm really intrigued by these it says and um, from this day forth she did and she didn't regret anything and it's like this sage stick thing with like a rock on it and you're meant to burn it i don't really i don't really get it they have like a few of them like there's this one here as well and i feel like i think you burn them and they're meant to like clean your space and stuff they have like quite a few up here as well like this one's got a little like rock stone crystally thing on it as well has anyone tried these and do they actually like do you feel like they do your space or is it just a gimmick can you please let me know oh my god how nice is this bag from pull and bear i know it's not the right season but imagine this in the summer how cute is that it's got like a little long brown strap in it as well i absolutely love that i really don't need another straw bag though because i have my one from zara which i love but that is so cute i've never seen this before it's a mario badescu deodorant it's 9.99 instead of 15 no 30.90 but i've never seen mario badescu deodorant before i feel like that'd be quite nice i like also still really want to try one of these ones these like spray deodorants but i just don't know how good they'd be they're 4.99 instead of 7.49 here and they have loads of different scents but it's like an actual like they do a roll on but it's like an actual spray do you know what i mean and i just feel like that's really weird for deodorant but i'm kind of intrigued by it they also have this body shop sleep oil which i'm quite tempted by that's a really good reduction and i really want like a nice lavender little oil to go in my diffuser at home i just think like lying in bed with like a lavender scent like coming out my oh here we go look that's quite a good little kick you get a rollerball a spray and an oil for 7.99 that is such a good price i just think that'd be so nice for, like lying in bed smelling or even this one actually this is like the same thing but it's a sleep better one instead not me literally walking around like this with my scarf on my head my uggs drenched because it's raining i didn't know it's gonna rain today but it's absolutely chucking it down so 
I thought it's time for a little shopping break and I'm gonna go and get a hot chocolate at Mrs. Potts at Chocolate House. It's one of my favorite things to do when I come to Bath is go there for hot chocolate. They do loads of different flavors and they also do a s'mores hot chocolate, which is what I'm hoping to get. I wanted to get one when I came to the Bath Christmas markets, but they didn't have the stuff to be able to do that. So I'm hoping I can take a little hour or so break from shopping and break from rain and have a hot chocolate and sit and read my book and be super cozy is the plan oh my god there are so many puddles everywhere this is absolutely revolting look at the state of my shoes i could literally cry Oh my god, look at how cute this is. From Drunk Elephant, you can get all these little minis for £65. I really want to try some Drunk Elephant stuff. I've literally never tried anything. I've not even tried... Oh my god, they've even got the bronzing drops. I've never even tried these. It's just so expensive, but there's so much I want to try them. Oh, I think the bronzing drops. I wanted to swatch the bronzing drops, but they look like they've um, all run out. I'm going to try the gold ones and see if they've got... Oh, they have got a little bit in it. That just kind of blends out to nothing, those golden ones. I really want to try the bronzing ones though, but they're never in stock. I also really want to get this, the baby facial. This is meant to be so good. I also just love the packaging. Like all the packaging of the Drunk Elephant stuff is so nice. Oh my God, that feels so nice. This also looks so nice. The Be Hydro Intensive Hydration Serum. I bet that is so nice. It's just 43 pounds, like it's just so expensive, but I really want to try it. I feel like this is a kind of drugstore version of Drunk Elephant. I don't know why, I just feel like the packaging is kind of giving Drunk Elephant vibes, but on a budget. I've also never tried any of this stuff. This actually looks really nice, Milky Moisture Cleanser. And it's not too bad, 12 99 I'm kind of tempted to try some stuff from here. I've also heard about this brand as well, Bubble. This is meant to be really good. Oh, and it's like similar packaging to Drunk Elephant. And again, it's like a cheaper price. So if anybody has tried any of this stuff or this stuff, please let me know what you think. And if there's any recommendations, because I kind of, this looks nice actually. Moisturizing rich cream. Kind of want to try some of this stuff. I've literally got so much of that Drunk Elephant baby fish cream in my hand. It's so thick, but I've just seen this. So I think we've already got a new fig sent out. I don't know if it's new, but I've never seen it. So I feel like it could give it a little smell. It smells quite fresh. It smells a little bit expensive but it's not really a me kind of smell. I really want to get some Soap and Rory stuff. I've not had Soap and Rory things in ages. And they're currently on three for two. And I don't know, I know I like Sugar Crush and I swear there was another one they did, like a sweet one, like a smoothie or something, but they don't seem to have that here. Maybe they've discontinued that one. I'm sure there was like a smoothie. They've got like a peach one, but I'm sure, oh, here it is. Is that it? Smoothie, yeah, smoothie style body butter. That one smells like oats and stuff, it's delicious. And then this is the fig one over here, which I think looks really nice packaging. It's quite a fresh scent, but I probably wouldn't like choose it. I'd probably go for the peach one or the smoothie one, I reckon. This is the peach body butter. I love peach scented things. Actually, I like it, but it's not as strong of a peach scent as I would expect. I was hoping that's gonna be more peachy than it is. It's quite a subtle scent. Let's smell smoothie star. Okay. I'm actually not a fan of that one either. I thought I liked that one more than I did. That is so sickly, like brown butter, like brown sugar, super sickly. So after all that, I don't really think I like any of them other than, oh wait, I've just seen another stand over here. Oh, this is where all the, um, all the rest of the smoothie star stuff is. I just feel like it's a very, very sickly smell. This looks nice though. Perfect Zen bath and shower oil. I bet that's really nice. I love a shower oil. They're so moisturizing. Actually, let me go and find this is the best moisturizer they've changed the packaging but this is honestly incredible like i put this on the other day before i faked hand and it literally my skin was still moisturized the day after which i've never had with any other moisturizer it is literally the best moisturizer ever it's the avino daily moisturizing body lotion sophia got me onto this and said it was amazing so i thought i'd try it and oh my god i'm literally obsessed with it it's so good also look at the state of my uggs they're ruined i'm literally gonna cry look at how bad they are good evening you can probably tell by the noise of the rain on the windscreen in the roof that it is absolutely chucking it down and i am drenched like i am so to the core the uggs i don't know if if she's ever gonna make a comeback i'm also sorry for this horrendous lighting let me just show you these they actually ended up soaking the whole way through can we see she is uh she's not okay um my feet are wet it's not a vibe but i'm cozy i love listening to the rain on the window i have the most horrendous lighting oh someone just put their brake lights on just adds that delicious lighting um i've got the street lamps it's literally pitch black outside other than the street lamps in this car park that i'm currently sat in um but i'm just waiting for dad to finish work he's just in a meeting um it's 
10 past five so i'm just waiting for him and then we have the fun three hour journey home literally cannot wait but we need to get petrol and there's one thing about my father it's whenever we stop and get petrol he will always stop and get a chocolate bar no matter what and there's even in fact chocolate bars just chilling here a random yorkie not my personal fave and also a Kit Kat chunky caramel because this man is a strong believer in always keep a chocolate bar in your car for emergencies and that is probably where I've got it from. So despite the fact we already have two chocolate bars in the car, we will still stop and get a chocolate bar on the way home of our choice that we are currently in the mood for, you know? You're not always in the mood for a Yorkie, so we will do that on the way home, so at least that's something to look forward to. I'm kind of craving, um, I've literally just got cramped in my foot. I'm kind of craving like a pack of ready soldered hula hoops. I so nearly got some um, french fries from McDonald's on my walk back to the car, but then I realised they're literally just going to be soggy and wet and cold and i literally had to walk through a massive giant lake to get to mcdonald's from where i was stood so i decided against that but yeah i fancy some hula hoops and maybe like a nice busy drink so i'll probably get that from the petrol station on the way home i was going to give you a little haul of what i got but the primark stuff is in the car and i might do that in a primark haul anyway the only thing i have got here that i can show is the shower jelly that i got from lush because i literally love these um i already have one and i like they last for so long and this one was 50 percent off and i don't know why because it's not a christmas one it's vanilla and raspberry scented and it's not going out of date or maybe wait we are in 2024 aren't we no it says used by 2025 so i don't know why that was half price but i'm not complaining because that only cost me three pound and these last for ages um but that is um i got a couple other bits but they're in the boot um but yeah that was a pretty successful trip other than the fact that it started raining um but i just thought i'd run this video off here i don't know how much i ended up filming today i don't really know like the rain kind of not only put a dampener on things but made it quite impossible to film when i was like walking around because obviously i didn't want my camera to get wet but hopefully this video was a decent length i just sort of have a chat with you i still have cramp on my foot like i'm actually in pain right now I also don't know if you can even hear me because you can probably only just hear the rain which is like just not fun really but yes i'm gonna head home i might take you for a little service station petrol station little shopping trip if i think that's of interest but we shall see um but yeah thanks for spending the day with me thanks for coming shopping with me that was my day let's do this again sometime soon shall we we shall